Swole Benji here. Today is just a quick lesson on how to use a protection paladin to AoE grind, how to AoE farm, AoE boost, etc, etc. So here's how it works. This paladin is in pre-raid bis, so nothing really that good. Uh, you can watch my previous video about how to get the gear and where to get it from. Uh, this None of this is raid gear, none of this is even really good gear, this is very basic gear, but you're going to cast Retribution Aura, Righteous Fury, because you get the defensive bonus with your passive, Blessing of Sanctuary, so that when mobs hit you they take more damage, Seal of Light, so you can heal yourself while you fight, Holy Shield to have more block, and Consecrate to AoE down the mobs. So, we're in Scarlet Monastery, uh, just to demonstrate here just how crazy good this is. So, I'm just going to hit the boss here with a Holy Shield, and I'm just going to run for it. And you'll see that I'm strafing and jumping backwards. This is because it keeps the mobs in front of me so that I can actually dodge and block and parry. Whereas if I'm just running like this, they're hitting me in the back and I'm taking a lot of damage. So I just pulled the boss and you, you could actually pull more than me with better gear, but I'm going to jump down here, toss myself a heal, and I'm going to keep running. Hopefully these guys aggro all the mobs on the sides as they usually do. I have a button bound to flip camera so I can see behind me a little bit more effectively. And I'm going to turn and face them right around this corner here, okay? And then I'm going to cast Seal of Light now. I'm going to cast Consecrate. And I'm going to just judge this guy while I auto-attack him and then recast Seal of Light. Well, actually I got silenced there, whoops. Okay, so my health's getting a little low. I'm going to pop my trinket now, which is called Figuring of the Colossus. I'm going to back up a bit so that the enemies are in front of me. I'm going to cast more Consecrates. You always want to cast Consecrate. I haven't been casting that many, but e even then, you can see that I'm making huge mistakes. And my health is just completely full. Like, uh, I haven't even cast the Holy Shield. Okay, now we'll cast Holy Shield. And uh, there you go. Everything is just dying and they're all poisoned. And I'm going to pick a full health mob here. I'm going to judge it with Seal of Light. And then I'm going to recast Seal of Light. And more Consecrates, and look at my mana. My mana is absolutely fine. They're all standing in the Consecrate. I'm going to reactivate Holy Shield. It's just, it's insanely easy. This is just such an easy AoE spot, man. Like, <laughs> and now I can tr maybe try to cast Avenger Shield. There we go. Then Hammer of Wrath, the, the single remaining survivor. And there we go. We just, uh, we pretty much cleared most of Scarlet Monastery in one pool. <laughs> and that was including the boss. So, uh, yeah, th that's basically how you do it, and you can apply this to level 70 zones, so let's get into that right now. Alright, so here's a really popular pull. Remember, I don't have any, like, food buffs, I don't have any potion buffs, I don't have any world buffs, n none of that kind of crap. And we're, we're gonna kill these demon hunter supplicants. These guys are actually, like, you know, they're supposed to be, like, pretty dangerous and stuff, but... It, it's so easy, let me show you. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm just in pre-raid bis, I have no raid gear on me. It's gonna gather them all up. These guys, they're they are a joke, man. They're a freaking joke. Let's go get these over here, too. You know, just get all of them. Fuck it. Right? They're they are piss easy. All right, so here we go. Oh, I lost Tacker on a bunch. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna drop a Consecrate there. I'm going to get my Seal of Light rolling. I'm going to Judge one, Reseal of Light as soon as it lets me. And uh, now we can go grab the rest. I should have maybe not did this mounted. So I can get all of them. Alright, I'm going to pop another Consecrate. My health's getting a little low, and that's fine. We are absolutely fine. We have Bubble, but more importantly, we have this figurine of the Colossus we can we can burn. Look at my health. It's about to it's it's about to be maxed out right now. Look at that. Max HP. I press one button, and I'm fully healed. <laughs> and uh, it looks like they're all like popping their evasion like they're a rogue or something. It, it doesn't matter, guys. Now, if these are demons, you can you can use exorcism and, and do even more AoE, right? Like, these guys don't stand a chance against us. And I'm just sitting here, I'm, I'm like barely doing anything. I'm not even really using my judgments like I should be. Uh, it's just consecrating blocking, man. Uh, the shield is doing all the damage. If you want to know what gear I'm wearing, the main damage dealer is the Petrified Lichen Guard right here. You get this with Honored from Sporagar. Uh, and then, of course, you got the figurine of the Colossus, which is easy to get. And that's pretty much it. Just uh, your average tank pally. Look at all the loot I'm getting. By the way, uh, Scryer Chads represent because I'm getting Sun Fury Signets. So, easy, easy rep. Very easy rep. 
it's it's just free money free look, look at all the silver i'm getting all the cloth and uh yeah it's like th this would shred other classes this would kill other people as an aoe mage this is not easy you have to freeze them and then there's the mob stack limit as a tank paladin it's just it's effortless bro it's so easy it's so dumb it's literally like the lowest like <laughs> it's, it's you don't need any IQ for this. It's it's not like you have to like do special things or group them all up and freeze them. And if so, your spells whiff, it's no big deal. You literally just stand there, cast Consecrate, cast Holy Shield, and you can Judgment of Light if you want to heal. If you get in trouble and you don't have your trinket, you bubble and then you Holy Light yourself, and they're gonna die. Like those, these are level seventy mobs. These are tough mobs, and they just kill themselves on you. It's amazing. AOE paladins, tank paladins are one of the best classes in TBC. And Wrath of the Lich King, they, like, I can go do Stratholm. I, I can literally go into Stratholm and do this strategy against the mobs. And Stratholm is good silver, it's, or gold, I'm sorry. But yeah, th that's the tank paladin. It's, it's really good. You want to see some more AOE spots? Yeah, out of all the classes in TBC, the Prompt Paladin is the best gold farmer in the game since chest farming got nerfed in like 2.23 or... By, by the time it's 2.4, chest farming was definitely nerfed. So here we are, we're in Stratholm, and uh, yeah, we, we can just... Oh, I'm slowed. Oh no, I'm slowed. Uh, what am I going to do? I have Blessing of Freedom. Easy. See you later, nerds. And I'm immune to being slowed. Yeah, let's just pull the whole uh, little section here. And slow it again, that's fine. Alright, let's activate Holy Shield and let's drop a Consecrate. And I'm gonna go ahead and activate my Trinket now, even though I don't have everything pulled. And this, this, <laughs> it's just free. And oh, I can, uh, I can, I can do Holy Wrath too. Well, maybe not right now, but um, I could definitely do it in a bit. <laughs> Especially if I proc my spell blade, I have to watch my buffs. It's been a long time since I've done this. Oh, we got the big boy. Yeah, let's get him judged. Cool, cool. Still hitting those consecrates. Hitting those holy shields. Maybe now? Maybe now we can holy wrath? No? Okay. Uh, I actually need a bubble here. <laughs> I'm taking a lot of damage. Let's get a Holy Wrath out. There we go. Big damage. Big juicy damage. See, it's that easy. It's 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 so simple. <laughs> I'm I, I'm not even in raid gear. I'm not even like trying. I'm not even like min maxing. I'm not using consumes or buffs or nothing, dude. I'm just I'm just mashing buttons like it's an arcade game. <laughs> you can click your skills. And, and get the same results, man. I'm telling you. It's stupid, easy, broken. And this is freaking Stratholm. You could power level your friends with this. It's it's really that dumb. And yes, I'm aware I'm a little bit low on health. And like, you can get full pre in like one week or less. And it really depends on how much free time you have. But yeah, there we go. We, uh... <laughs> Oh, look at that. Look at the silver. Look at the drops. You get... Man, these things... It, it's... And you could do this for nearly the whole instance. I don't think you can solo some of the bosses. I don't remember. It's been a very long time since I've played. But, um... Even with better gear, like with raid gear, I'm pretty sure you can solo almost every boss in here. You can farm orbs of, uh... Oh, I forget what they're called. It's been so long since I've played. Please forgive me. But I'm trying to show off the power here of the Protection Paladin. It's... It's really dumb. It's really... It's, it's just silly how powerful this is. I just realized when I used Blessing of Freedom in the previous clip that it removed my Blessing of Sanctuary, and that's why I was taking so much damage. If you have that up, you, you're you reducing damage by like 80, uh, 80 damage per swing. Uh, I thought there was more mobs here to pull. But you get, you get the idea. Like, I, I royally screwed that up, and I'm able to do a level 60 dungeons worth of freaking mobs. It's, it's crazy how strong this is. I'm going to drop some level 1 Consecrates on the ground. They only cost 90 mana. And, uh, yeah. We can just pull everything in this area if we wanted to. Like, what are they going to do? 
What are they gonna do about it, you know? I'm freaking like, they don't do any damage. Even this, like, this level 61 guy. <laughs> Let's see how many we can get, guys. This is so dumb. There's no, there's no, like, AoE limit. You think Blizzard might nerf this? Oh no, I'm stunned. Oh no. Ooh, this is a rare spawn. We got a rare spawn. I mean, no one's at, obviously gonna be out here, but... Again, we're just dropping level 1 Consecrate so we can keep the aggro on. And they're freaking dying, man. They're like... Alright, you know what? Let's let's up a good Consecrate and let's let's kill these guys. I want to show off more AoE spots. This is a lot of fun. This is this is probably the most fun you can have in, <laughs> in WoW TBC, man. I don't even need to use my trinkets or nothing. They're dying so fast. Like, look at their health! They're all gone! Here come... Oh man. Hit me with the stun. Holy Wrath, here we go. Bam, come on. Hit him. Hit him with it. Hit him with the Avenger Shield. And the Hammer of Wrath. Look look at the damage. It's nuts. Absolutely crazy. Now, if you don't have those spells, of course, it's going to take, you know, just a bit of time to whittle them down. But look at that. It's <laughs> it's it's easy, man. You, you can do this for, like, so many dungeons, man. I'm telling you. And look at the money just flow in, man. It's... <laughs> I feel bad for anyone that like gold farmed before TBC, man. <laughs> Alright, doing more big juicy pulls. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see how, how long we can survive here. And we're gonna pop our trinket and fully heal. And, I mean, this it's just beautiful, man. It really is. Oh, we're, we're actually taking some heavier, heavier damage, man. Tayland Fordring don't mess around. I don't know if we'll make this one. Well, you know, I always have an out. You know what? I'm just gonna do the old bubble hearth. If you pull too much, that's your out. All right, last test, guys. I swear for real this time. We're just gonna, we're just gonna aggro the entire bar. You know, just uh, just fight the whole Grim Guzzler. Fuck it. Why not? Right? Hello? Hey. I, uh, oh yeah, I guess I'm, I'm just freaking hit Consecrate ever. Okay, they knocked down. That's bad. Uh, we'll be alright. Hopefully, maybe. Hit him with the flash of light. Ba bam So versatile, Paladins. You can DPS, tank, heal. It don't matter. I think we have a, well, that's a good amount. I think we can get some more if we don't get knocked down constantly. <laughs> I might be chain stunned here. Do a little blocking. We we do a little blocking here. You know, we do a little trolling. <laughs> All right, I need to AO, I need to line of sight the damn casters. That's what I need to do. And if I get knocked down again, I might be down. So I'm gonna line of sight them right here, and this is where we'll make our last stand, lads. Right here in the corner, and we're gonna pop our trinket so we fully heal now. And there goes our HP all the way back up, almost. Not quite. Well, yeah, there we go. It took it a minute, though. <laughs> it's these elites that freaking hit hard. And that's just about all of them. Yeah, there's the last guy, and they're dead. And then we just loot. See, it's fun. It's hilarious. Like, why would you play any other class? Everyone needs a tank. Everyone likes to, you know, power level their friends through dungeons on their alts and stuff. This is the class to be. This is the this is the TBC prime experience and horde get paladin. So horde chads rise up, make yourself a paladin, get yourself a tank chad today. All right, so that's the video. Uh, here's here's uh, here's here's the skills again. That's pretty much it. Uh, also, just just again in case you skipped around in the video, petrified lich and guard. And figuring of the Colossus. The rest of the gear, it's uh, it's his Priebus. None of this is from raids. None of this is overpriced. Like, this is all, like, like this is a green wrist. Like, go check out my Priebus video. Uh, go check out my grinding video if you want more ideas for grind spots. And uh, I'm Swole Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. And I will see you in the next one. Make sure you return your shopping cart.